want to know about that specific field. Is there anything that you guys have questions on? Anything in particular? Your left nipple. The left, the left nipple. The left nipple. That's one. Wolf's largest gummy bear. Okay, we're gonna go with the nipple. Nice. I like the way you think, sir. You and me, we're right here together. There you go. Okay. Okay. So our topic is the uh, the left, right? So left nipple. Right wait, nipple. wait, no, right. Right nipple. Right nipple. Okay. Cool. I meant left. Nipples in general. Okay. <laughs> we're just going to try this. I can't do it. Okay, we're going to meet our experts today on uh, Tim Truhart's Nipple Times. I'm Tim Truhart, and contestant number one, who are you? I am the uh, esteemed epidemiologist, epidemiologist from Down Under. My name is Margaret. Yeah, my name is Margaret. Nice to meet you, Margaret. I, I shortened it, like Cher did. It seemed like a good idea. Nice to meet you, Margaret. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, and uh, expert number two. Hi, I'm Lindy, and I am a celebrity um, stylist who specializes in the breast region. I like that. <laughs> I've worked with Britney Spears. I've worked with Janet Jackson. <laughs> Lindy. 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 One one name, like Madonna. Morris, and Margaret and Cher. And finally, expert number three. Yes, my name is Dr. James Ariola. And I was <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you, Dr. James. Awesome. All right, let's keep this going. Uh, our esteemed audience, do you all have any questions about nipples or areolas in general? Sir? Yes, in the case of piercing, what ring would you consider acceptable? <laughs> Oh my goodness, that's a very good question. Down under, we have a special ring. It's shaped a little bit bent, so that if you lose it, it comes right back to you. <laughs> 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 it's two. So nothing but the best for my clients. If you're going to get a nipple piercing, which you should, about three years into your career when you're starting to fade a little bit, and I think it needs to be diamond or pink diamond or something even more rare. Well, really, it's all a matter of preference, I think. And, uh, I mean, just whatever one is suitable. It turns out the nipple is actually very, very strong. And uh, Janet Jackson prefers star-shaped piercing. I didn't tell you that. <laughs> she particularly likes <laughs> Thank you, Dr. James. Here. You're still freaking me out. Oh, wait, more questions about the nipple! Sir! This may sound like a dumb question, but, um... No, I have dumb questions. Yeah, what is a nipple? Oh, my God, that's a good question. You see, down under. <laughs> the nipple's very rare. It's found only on koalas and uh, lemurs, and only the white furry ones. They're used to feed... The Aborigines. <laughs> Aborigines like professionals. So, your question was, what is a nipple? Which I thought he covered in like the third grade. So like, whatever. But the nipple, in case you didn't know, in celebrity terminology, is the only thing we're not actually allowed to show you. You're allowed to show the side. You're allowed to show under. You're allowed to show lots of over. And the nipple is that one special mysterious thing. I would suggest that you use one of those pasties things, but the smaller the better, so it might come off, and definitely washable adhesive. I hate Your turn. Well, a nipple is actually one of the most confusing parts of the, the uh, human anatomy. We're not really sure quite why most people have them, at least 50% of the population. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Strangely, that same half population is seeking the other half population of nipples for about at least the first, or at least last, 30 years of their life. <laughs> James, okay, we got time for one more question about nipples and nipple-related subjects. Sir, I, I happen to lose mine. Are there any procedures that I could get to, uh, you know, replace <laughs> my nipple? Replacement procedure. Oh my god, that's a good question. <laughs>
heart-shaped piercing <laughs> failure, otherwise you would not have lost it <laughs> to begin with. Fascinating. <laughs> so you didn't hear it from me, but if you're gonna get a nipple replacement surgery, you gotta go to the best plastic surgeon in all of Hollywood. And I'll tell you right now, he's very selective of his clients. He only took one member of the Jackson family. It wasn't Janet. <laughs>